Mr. President, I come to the floor today to pay tribute to one of the finest among us, a young man from Wisconsin whose service to his country was cut short by tragedy in Afghanistan. Senior Airman Quinn Lamar Johnson Harris, a 21-year-old from Milwaukee, was among the six airmen and five civilian passengers who lost their lives when a C-130 crashed on takeoff from Jalalabad Airfield in Afghanistan earlier this month. Every one of those individuals was a grave loss to our country. Every one deserves to be remembered and revered before the Senate. Today, it is my solemn duty and particular honor to tell you about Airman Johnson Harris. Quinn graduated from Homestead High School in Mequon, Wisconsin in 2012. The very next year, he joined the Air Force. It was a foregone conclusion that he would serve his country long before that, however. His grandfather served in Vietnam. His oldest brother, Jeremy, Jeremy was a proud Marine. And his other older brother, Lamar, graduated from West Point just last spring, is now proudly serving in the Army. His mother told the story about how her three sons, Quinn was only two years old at the time, saluted at the grave of their grandfather and vowed to serve their country. Mr. President, for men such as these, our nation is eternally grateful. Quinn went to rebuild houses in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina while he was still in school. Later, one of his comrades, a sergeant that served with him in the Air Force, said he was, quote, the heart of the, squ the, squ the, heart of the squadron, and that he was the best of us, unquote. For 239 years, our servicemen and women have guarded our freedom, more than 42 million of them. Since the Revolutionary War, more than one million of those heroes have given their lives, including more than 27,000 sons and daughters of Wisconsin. Now Airman Johnson Harris has been added to that terrible toll. His brothers, his sister Fatia, his parents Yvette and Lamar, and all his family and friends grieve their loss. Our hearts go out to them, and we pray that they will find comfort and peace. I saw the grief of Airman Johnson Harris's family this past weekend during his funeral service at Christian Faith Fellowship Church in Milwaukee. I saw the respect they had for him, and the honor granted him by a family that knows the meaning of earned honor. Quinn swore to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, to put his life on the line for the liberties we all enjoy. We must never take that type of dedication for granted. We owe him the honor of taking our own corresponding oath of duty as seriously as he took his. Mr. President, may God bless Airman Johnson Harris's loved ones. May he guard all of those in our armed forces who defend our nation's liberty, and may he God bless America. I yield the floor and note the absence of a quorum. And the clerk should call the roll.